formal approvals are often the biggest bottleneck in any FDA-regulated workflow. For starters, many approvals require a Part 11 compliant signature, which most development and testing tools do not provide natively. So we end up generating lots of PDFs and exporting those to other systems for signatures, which wastes a lot of time. So how do we speed this up? Well, if you're using JIRA, you can install a Part 11 compliant signature app and approve your JIRA records right where they are. In this video, I'll show you my favorite signature app for JIRA, eSign Electronic Signatures by Digital Rose. First, Digital Rose provides a Part 11 compliance assessment that you can trace from in your own documentation. Now let's look at some of eSign's best features. For starters, because eSign integrates with JIRA, you can use it to approve any type of JIRA issue that you maintain in your workflow, whether it's a backlog item like a story or a bug, or it's a requirement or a risk item or a test case or test execution using whatever integrated testing tool you use, X-Ray or Zephyr or et cetera. You can use eSign to approve any of those. As long as it's a regular JIRA issue, you can approve it with eSign. Now let's do a quick little demo of eSign. This issue is a functional requirement that I would like to route for approval. And I can scroll down to my signatures app. This is the signatures panel. This is the eSign app. And a way to do this manually is to just apply your signature or invite your coworkers to be approvers on, on this record. An even better way, and the way that I prefer, is you can build eSign into your workflow and have it automatically assign approvers based on automation or, and based on field values. So for example, in this app, I can assign approvers from a list. So as I want to assign this myself and also assign it to my coworker, Sarah. And then if I route this for approval, because eSign is built into my workflow configurations, we can see that this record is now pending my approval and Sarah's approval because of what was populated in the approvers field. Another common source of friction in the approval process is often notifying and reminding users when they need to approve something. And eSign helps us with this in two different ways. First, all users will immediately receive an email notification anytime something is assigned for their approval. And clicking into the email notification will open the issue directly in JIRA where they can then complete their approval. And eSign also integrates with JQL so that we can build filters to show us issues that are pending signatures. For example, I can create a filter to show all records pending the current user's signature. And this shows me the two issues in the system that are pending my signature. Or we can use this to filter on specific people, such as I filter on my teammate. And just like any JQL search, you can save this as a filter and use that filter to send periodic reminder emails to users or to build a dashboard widget that you view during the daily standup that shows all the items that are pending approval and whose approval they're pending, etc. So looking at our requirement that we routed for approval, let's execute these signatures. First, I'll sign as myself. I just press the sign button. I enter my personal pin, my personal signature pin. And execute the signature. And now we can see that I've approved this issue. It has my full name, timestamp, signature meaning, all the information that we need for a part 11 compliant signature. My coworker Sarah can do the same thing. enter her personal PIN and complete her signature. And now we have a requirement record that is fully approved. And this leads us to the next great feature of eSign where we can automatically transition our issue to approved when the last signature is executed. Looking back at our example requirement, we can see it is now in the approved status. And if we view the issue history, we can see that JIRA automation 
automatically transitioned this issue from pending approval to approved when automation detected that the last signature was completed. And this happened because I explicitly configured my workflow and my automation rules to integrate with eSign. And the last feature I want to show you is the PDF archive feature. Optionally, you can configure eSign to automatically attach a PDF archive of your JIRA issue to the JIRA issue itself when signatures are complete or finalized. And this attached PDF serves as a nice snapshot of the approved record with fields and with the signatures. Now, this is not the only way to report on your eSign signatures. They are accessible to other reporting tools as well. But what's nice about these PDF archives is they create a running history of approved snapshots of your issue. So as you continue to revise, update, and reapprove your issue, these PDF archives keep a running history of all the older revisions that were also approved. And that's it. We just saw a brief demo of eSign electronic signatures for JIRA. We saw that it's part 11 compliant, that it integrates with your JIRA workflow to automatically assign approvers when you route something for approval. It automatically notifies pending approvers and gives you the ability to report on pending approvers using JQL and how you can use JIRA automation to automatically transition your records when the final signature has been approved and how you can even create a running history of PDF snapshots of your approved revisions. I hope you found this demo helpful. If you'd like to see more, go to www.agileinnovations.tech. Thanks for watching.